Welcome back to Excel HQ. Let's get into conditional formatting, which, as the name says it all, allows you to format different cells based on conditions provided. And what this can do is it can really help highlight important data and spot trends for you. So first, let's start off with the basics of how to apply conditional formatting. Well, you just go up here into your home ribbon, and then in your home ribbon, you'll see conditional formatting in the styles group right in the middle. Conditional formatting is a really great way to visualize your data and the differences between them. So for example, in conditional formatting, you can highlight your cell rules and it gives you a bunch of preset defined conditions that you can use, or you can create your own rule on which cells are formatted based off of a formula that you choose or a formula that you tweak a little bit that it already gives you. So for example, if I go into my table here, which talks about a business that sells desks, their revenue, costs, profits, and so on. If I go to the percentage paid and I want to find out how much did this order number, so how much did this customer pay out of their total bill so far? I have 100%, 34%, 42%. And a real good way to visualize this, actually, is with conditional formatting. So what I can do is I can select all the cells or I could just select the column, which I'm going to do for now, and then go to conditional formatting. And then in here, I could go to highlight cell rules, greater than, and then I can specify my percentage, for example. So right now, I want to have 50%. So every cell that is greater than 50%, so over 50% is paid off, I will fill it with light red fill with dark red text. You can change this or customize it yourself. Right now, let's just put it at a red border although you can't really see that, so we'll go back to green. I'll press OK, and then as you can see, my 100% are all filled out because they're over 50, but then nothing else is over 100%. My column header is also highlighted. I probably shouldn't have highlighted the whole row K instead of just chose my selection, but you can really see how it works there. Now, if I ever need to clear my conditional formatting, I can go to the conditional formatting button here, and then just press clear rules and then clear rules from entire sheet and it just deletes it entirely for you. You can also use the highlight cell rules for other things such as less than, between, equal to, all the way to a date occurring. So if I wanted to highlight all my dates occurring in this month with that, I could just go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and then I could just pick yesterday, today, tomorrow, and it will highlight that date or the range of the date that I want to see. Now say, I want to know my top 10 earners from my total received. You can also do this with conditional formatting. So then I'd take my total receive, I'd highlight all of my information, go to conditional formatting, and then I could go to top slash bottom rows. And I could take my top 10 items, my top 10% items, anything above the average. For right now, I'm just gonna go with my top 10 items. However, I can also change how many that is in here. So I'll take my top five right now, and then I'll have it highlighted as it's predefined and I'll click on OK. And then out of the whole row, my top five are all highlighted, except it highlights six in this case because number five, there's a duplicate here of 1500, so it'll highlight six in this case. But that's a great way to highlight your top earners or whatever your top data is for any kind of table. Now, another way you can conditional format is with data bars. And it's probably one of the cooler features of conditional formatting. So if I once again select all my text in my percentage paid, go to conditional formatting, in my data bars, it will fill out each cell, the percentage that I have prescribed to it. So for example, my 100% is all the way filled out, and then 34%, well, the cell's only filled out 34% of the way there. And it's just a great way to visualize it with conditional formatting. Now let's go to my amount due. I'll highlight all of this too. And then in my amount due, I want to know who has the most amount left to give. So I could go to conditional formatting and then I could go to my color scales. And color scales is probably what you will be using the most when conditional formatting your data. And just this first one here, which highlights it green, yellow, red color scale with green going to the highest, red going to the lowest. So then I can really see here green is who owes the most. So down here, I have the 2,500 multiple times. It is the brightest color of green there could be. 
And then for my zero dollars, so they owe nothing, it is as red as it can be. And now for the last pre-described pre direction it gives you would be the icon sets. So for example, I'll highlight my profits here. Then I'll go up to my conditional formatting and then icon sets. I can't imagine that you guys will use this a lot. However, it's still good to know. And it just puts in little icons, whether they're arrows, shapes, indicators, ratings for you. Just to, once again, give you that visualization of where everything's at. So if I just pick my arrows right now, I'll open that up a bit. It will show me, so I have a green arrow going up for my highest profits, red arrow going down for my lowest profits, all the way throughout it. I can also do that for my down payment as well. That might be illustrated a bit better. I go to my icon sets, and then this time I'll go to shapes. Green, yellow, and red, yeah. So this time we get some yellow in there for things that aren't quite as low as 500, but not as quite high as 3,500. So then it's just a indicator. Now, what I will argue is the most important thing about conditional formatting is being able to make your own rules and your own conditions yourself and having your cells be formatted just how you want. So for now, I'm going to clear all the rules that we've done so far. And then I'm just going to go to my percentage paid column. And basically what I'm going to try to do with my own formula is that if the percentage paid is 100%, then the whole row that's in, the whole order number, will then be highlighted green. So then if this 34% here ever turns 100%, then it will also be highlighted green. If anything else is added on that's a 100%, it will be highlighted green. Something nice and simple like that. So right now, I'm going to highlight all the conditions that I want it for so far. So I'm going to click my whole table from B3 all the way down to K29, and I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting. And from here, I'm going to go to Rules. I highlighted everything prior because this, this is everywhere the conditional formatting will apply. So when I click new rules, there's already some rule types that it gives you. However, use the very last one, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then in this, you'll go to format values where this value formula is true. I will put in dollar sign K three is greater than let's go 0.99. To give it some leeway. So now I'm using K3 because it is my first cell in my paid percentage column and I put the dollar sign in front of the K but not the 3 because this is going to be indicating that the K column stays still the whole time however the number will be moving down. If I put the dollar sign in front of 3 as well what this would do is it would only ever check the K3 cell and then everything that I have highlighted right now would turn green and I don't want that. I only want the row to turn green and I wanted to check every single paid percentage in every single row which is why I keep the dollar sign out right there and now when I go to format I can go border font number however 99% of the time you're gonna go with fill I'm guessing and I'm gonna fill it in as this nice green color right here so then I press OK again and then boom just like that all of my 100% are now highlighted the whole row is highlighted say something happens and this person's amount due is now zero dollars. And then their percentage paid ends up being 100%. It just automatically highlights itself because it changes to 100%. Once again, 100% and just like that. And that is some of the cool things you can do with conditional formatting that aren't just already preset rules that you could find yourself. And that is why it's very important to know how to create formulas with conditional formatting. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of my other videos and some of my other playlists on formulas. And I have a whole tutorial series out on Excel as well. And if you want to see anything else, make sure to drop a comment down below.